You remember Goku, right? You know, that super duper Saiyan that you used to watch on Toonami? I am the hope of the universe, the Japanese Superman, hero of planet Earth. No, that's just the English dub portrayal, and you're a loser, a peasant, if you watch the English dub only. I'm just kidding, love what you love. We're all fans at the end of the day. But there's absolutely no question about it. English dub, Japanese dub, Goku, in any version, is the most disrespectful character in not just Dragon Ball history, but history. But how is that possible? The cheery baby face of Dragon Ball? All innocent and loving. How can he possibly be disrespectful? Well, if you've watched Dragon Ball for long enough and picked up on the attitude of Goku in various circumstances, both battle and out of battle, you will quickly see that his attitude is a disgrace. And most of his asshole attitude surfaces when he's finally in control of the situation. Completely the reverse of when he's getting his ass handed to him and Masako Nozawa is screaming down that microphone to portray Goku's suffering. No, when the tables are turned and Goku's in control, he's one of the biggest assholes ever. At least with Vegeta, it's pretty much written all over his face. He pretty much lets you know on meet and greet that he's going to be a douchebag to you. Goku, no. He waits until you're fragile. He waits until you're temporarily low on self-esteem or waits until you are in a death desperate situation. Then he wipes his monkey ass all over your face. If you did or said the things that Goku's done in both the anime and manga, nobody would bother with you in real life. And you'd probably, no, you would lose your job and family. And what Goku does stands out even more because he's the flagship Good guy of Dragon Ball. Well, ladies and gentlemen, appearances and titles can be deceiving. Let's look at what Goku has actually done that makes him a crafty, sly, disrespectful, and all humiliating little twerp. This will include in and out battle examples, and these are in no particular order. Did some enemies deserve it? Hell yeah. But what about the rest? Exactly. Goku's an asshole. Goku just drops his newly attained Super Saiyan form in his fight with Frieza and says he's done and flies away. All of the constant devaluing at Frieza as soon as he knows he's in control of the fight to make him feel worthless. And when he told the Emperor he's bored, when only five minutes ago he was literally fighting for his life and saw his best friend murdered. Goku zipping past Nappa and Vegeta and ignoring them until he gave Krillin and Gohan Senzu beans, where he broke Nappa's back and then tossed him to the ground. In the Red Ribbon Saga, during the Muscle Tower portion, he was literally fighting a ninja, and his power pole went straight up his ass. He bites gods and angels. He bit Whis once when training, which so far is the only time that Whis has taken damage in any official Dragon Ball media. He didn't think of Tien in the Tournament of Power until a chance meeting with Oolong, of all people, on Roshi's Island. That's a crime in itself. Constantly undermining the Ginyu Force's abilities, he one-shots Raccoon while he was charging up his ultimate attack and left him face down ass up. When he instantly uses Captain Ginyu's poses, mocking them, a guy who spent his whole life perfecting them. The fact that he defeated Ginyu by trapping him in a body of a damn frog, and when he punched Jace's nose, mid-conversation. Goku walking through Topo's justice flash attack like it's a literal walk in the park. Even Jiren was embarrassed. Teleports in front of Zamasu, and without even turning around, he just punches him in the face. So disrespectful to a deity. Goku hide in Super Saiyan 3 from Vegeta during the Buu saga and pretended they were equal. Absolute savage. The moment after he gave Moro the Senzu bean and started flexing on him, knowing that Moro cannot do anything to him. Like he wanted him to suffer physically and mentally. Super Saiyan 4 Goku body and ice Shenron, saying he could defeat him within five seconds. Punched a hole through him, tapping ice Shenron on the face and making him kneel. And when Goku put his foot into Ice Shenron's mouth. When Whis tells Vegeta he puts too much thought into his movement and Goku just laughs at him. Laughs at his weakness. When he's playing punch bag with Majin Buu whilst a Super Saiyan 3. And the moment in that fight he keeps teleporting backwards whenever Buu tried to hit him. Acting like a complete asshole. Scaring baby Vegeta into thinking he could run away. Just before blowing up his ship and launching him into the sun. 
where he started blocking Trunks' sword strikes with nothing but a finger. What an arrogant piece of shit. Doing Cell dirty by forfeiting and ruining a good time. And then after a whole lot of crap, he got Gohan to beat him up. Only after he threw a Senzu bean at Cell, shitting on his own son's trust. Grinding on Kefla's energy beam with his Kamehameha, then blasting her point blank in the face was the most disrespectful thing. He made Yakon explode simply by powering up and force feeding him energy. Goku using the one inch punch on Frieza. He almost killed Omega Shenron by faking his blindness and catching him off guard with a Kamehameha Dragon Fist combo. Just flat out lying to the opponent. Giving Cell the Senzu Bean was disrespectful as hell. Goku's like, even fully healed, you couldn't beat my son. Goku slapping Frieza on Namek, jabbing people's eyes in most of early Dragon Ball, then later on in Zeal Super, going for the eyes, that's cheap elevates Monster Rabbit to the moon and making him do slave work where he won't be rescued until he's made enough candy. He flicked a God of Destruction in the forehead. Goku smack talk semi-perfect Cell, then run away with instant transmission because he's a coward. The time in the Cell saga when Goku told Vegeta he's stronger than him. The Vegeta needs all the training he can get. Super Saiyan 4 telling baby your punches only tickle like a tiny feather. I can't believe I'm saying this when he dodges the bully upside down in Dragon Ball Evolution. Goku also grabs Beerus by the ear and screams at him. Broly movie. Have fun, Freezer. Remember that? Yeah, that was the guy who literally joined your team to save your universe. Nice reward, Goku. English dub Goku to Majin Vegeta. I didn't think you were weak enough to be controlled. What a piece of crap. Threatening to kill the Supreme fucking Kai in the Buu Saga. His mere existence to Vegeta. When he tells Vegeta in the English dub, maybe you just need some better finishing moves. At the end of Z, Goku didn't give a damn to visit his friends in some years. When Bulma calls him out on it, he didn't care much. He ditched Vegeta on his chance to fight him again, knowing fully he was looking forward to it. Then leaves with Oob, abandons his whole family and friends, abandons Pan who looked up to him, and doesn't see them for five years. Goku watching everyone get their ass handed to him when Beerus got there in Battle of Gods, just to see if he could find a weakness. Goku thinking he can defeat a god of destruction in his Super Saiyan 3 form, or he can dial it back down to 2 for him if he needs to. Goku vs Nature and Shenron, when he let him squirm to try and control the bird for power, then stalks him like a mass murderer. The time he backhanded Chi Chi and constantly disrespected her for years, staying away training, including going behind her back to train with Whis. Goku vs Tien and the removal of his bottoms, when he takes off his weighted gear to try and install fear into the opponent. So arrogant. The fact that he'd prefer his arch nemesis piece of shit who killed his best friend to be on the same team instead of his friend, Yamcha. When Goku constantly calls Bulma a wrinkly old lady, GT Goku putting the moves on Frieza and Cell, turning a Destructo disc into a skateboard and telling Cell's absorption to go screw itself, asking to switch wives with Vegeta, offering Bulma and Videl to dirty old men, saying his own wife isn't as attractive, playing rock paper scissors in front of villains stronger than Freezer. When Cooler or anyone punches him and he just stares at them so hard to make them feel like rubbish. GT Goku laughing in base form that he just ragdolled multiple universe sized dimensions by accident. Goku constantly trolling Bogamo in their first fight. Goku calling Grand Zeno, Zeni or Zenies, leaving King Kai dead, always stealing the spotlight from Vegeta. Goku smack talking Harutagan, karate chopping Beerus on the neck. Every single scene of Dragon Ball Z abridged. Arriving on Namek and casually ignoring Rikum and giving Senzu beans to Gohan, Krillin and Vegeta. Shaking the Galactic King's tentacle in Super. Goku telling Anan that she wasn't old, she's ancient. Telling Krillin he doesn't have a nose was pretty cold. And he says his head looks like a bowling ball when they were children. Disrespecting Tao Pai Pai by taking damage purposely. Saying things like, wow, you got some good moves. My turn. Supposedly in Super, it's implied he never kissed his own wife. Being 50% of Vegeta and Gogeta, we're both are known to be absolute clowns to Majin Buu and Omega Shenron. Taking multiple minus balls to the face whilst talking to King Kai and then laughing. Squirting orange juice at General Rildo in a serious fight. Tons of Kid Goku moments where he doesn't want to see Bulma's dirty ass, learning the Kamehameha from a master in record time where it took Roshi 50 years, but destroying a car that he didn't even pay for, hitting women in their private parts to see if they were men or not. When Piccolo asks if he could have defeated Fat Boo, even after Vegeta self-destructed, Goku admitted he could, but he wanted those guys to handle themselves. Hauling Bulma's tits saggy in her own house. 
speaking with his mouth full and spending all of Roshi's prize money on one meal. Refused Purunga bringing him home from Yadrat to see his family. After Piccolo trained hard for one year in the time chamber, Goku basically tells him Cell would still beat his ass no contest. Not showing any respect to deities of any kind. Calling Vegeta's ultra ego creepy face form despite inventing Super Saiyan 3, breaking the rules of the universe by showing up from the other world to help go on against Bojack. The disrespectful look into my eye face when he's running away from the bad guys in the Black Star Saga, eating all of Vegeta's sushi that he was saving in Yo Son Goku and Friends. More like Yo Son Goku and No Friends, Goku thought to try and save Gohan, Goten Trunks and Piccolo and even mourned their loss later, but not once did he even think about the fact Tien and Chaozu were also on Earth when Boo destroyed it. He straight up forgot about those guys and on a related note, letting his sons die to rescue Dende, Hercule and the puppy. Saying to Vegeta not to cry when he surpasses him because Vegeta wanted to stay with Bulma during the birth of their daughter. In fact, he said a lot of asshole stuff here in manga and anime. That one time in the Broly movie where we asks Goku if he wants to be a god of destruction and he replies no, he doesn't want to sleep all day, ultimately disrespecting a god of destruction. And calling Champa fat, he ate clouds, very disrespectful to the other world's aesthetic. Telling King Kai how bad he cooks, spending and eats all resources without earning any money for himself, expecting to live a life of leisure. Dumps the kids on Chi Chi so he can go save the world <laughs> and not just save the world, he expects her to look after the kids whilst he goes and trains for his own leisure. Imagine you expected your wife to look after the kids whilst you have a daily LAN party over your friend's house. You wouldn't have a wife left, you'd find Tien balls deep inside her cause he's a goddamn role model. Telling Vegeta and Nappa on first meeting he won't even need the Kaioken against them. Ultimately treating them like fodder without even fighting them. Beings who just killed his friends and tried to murder his son. Him punching Gohan directly in the face because he didn't want him to go down and save Piccolo and Tien from Cell. A grab and hold would have been enough but a punch to the face. Teasing Beerus the whole goddamn time with the Omni King business and the button. Punching Monica and blasting old Kai in the face. Why? Harassing an angel for training, constantly. Punching a hole through King Kai's planet in Battle of Gods and letting it explode in the Cell Saga. You're so arrogant in winning, or at least death isn't a problem for you, or the responsibility of being with a family, that you hire an assassin just to fight him, where you could have just asked. You have him teleport away from his son's school interview. Also teleported into Bulma and Vegeta's bedroom. Stealing Master Roshi's sunglasses just to boast a technique. Putting all universes at risk because of his chopsy mouth and selfish ambition. Not knowing the universes were going to be erased anyway. That's the key. Plot and luck saved his big mouth in the end. But reckless nonetheless. And that's all for now, but you get the picture. Tell me in the comments where else Goku has been a massive douchebag. And I'll see you all in the next dimension.